Hello everyone, welcome to the Smart Life. Today I have a mini PC here that is a B Link BT4 mini PC, and this is a budget mini PC. I got it from Banggood.com for setting up a NAS for my security cameras. As you know, I have upgraded my Wi Fi network to Wi Fi 6, and previously I was using this router with a USB drive. This is a USB 2.0, and the LAN are 100 Mbps LAN, and this used to be my network drive or a NAS for my security cameras. But since I have upgraded to the new Wi-Fi 6 routers and none of the Wi-Fi 6 routers that I have have a USB port for network drive. I need to have a NAS system and having a dedicated NAS is also very important. This mini PC comes with the Intel Atom X5 Z8500 quad-core processor and it also comes with the Intel HD graphics. The RAM is 4 GB and also includes a 64 GB solid state storage. The main thing that I was looking for is a gigabit LAN and this has both gigabit LAN as well as 5 GB Wi-Fi as well as 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. It also comes with Bluetooth 4.0 and another good thing is that it has four USB 3.0 ports. So that is also very important because I want to connect my hard disk through the USB ports. So this mini PC is the EU version. So it will come with EU power adapter and it also includes the ICMI cable and the installation bracket. So that is good. Usually people use this kind of a mini PC for uh, streaming videos or doing some office work in the front desk and so on. In this video, I'm going to set up this mini PC and I'll do a full review including the performance test of this mini PC and I'll just show you how to set up a NAS. So now let's unbox it and see what is there inside. This is the mini PC itself. It comes with an English user manual that is good. It has multiple languages and it has an HDMI cable. It also has a very short HDMI cable in case you want to attach this behind your television. And this is the mounting bracket and this is the power adapter. The power adapter is 12 volts 1.5 amps that is 18 watts and these are the mounting screws. So that's it. So let's keep it aside. So let's check the mini PC. So this is the mini PC and it is quite small and it comes with a HDMI port and a VGA port. And this is the power input and a power button. This is the gigabit LAN port and it has an audio out here. Two USB 3.0 ports here and another two USB 3.0 ports there and it also has a micro SD card slot so you can expand the memory using the micro SD card as well as a USB stick or a USB hard drive and that's it now I'll show you how to set it up and do a performance test of this mini PC now I have my monitor here so you need a monitor for setting up the device and this is the mini PC here and I'll connect the HDMI cable to the monitor and I'll connect the LAN cable and finally I'll connect the power so let's turn it on so as you can see if you turn it on there is a blue led indicator here and it has a small fan inside for cooling now it's starting windows you also need to connect a mouse and a keyboard now it's asking you to select a language so it supports multiple languages you can select any language and click yes this is a basic windows setup so you have to select your region now so you can select your region and you have to select the keyboard layout you can add another keyboard layout if you want so you have to accept the license agreement type in your microsoft account email id and password you can create a pin for easy access in this privacy settings you better unselect the options you don't want it is running and it is a little bit warm not much the fan is working well the fan sound is not very audible it is uh, very quiet so that is good now as you can see the setup has been completed so here you can see the details of the computer and it is windows 10 home edition and uh, windows is activated so it comes with a valid windows license key now i have installed novavench novavench is a benchmarking tool for pcs so i'll start the novavench benchmark test and it'll give the scores for the cpu and the gpu as well as the storage I have performed a couple of uh, Novavench tests and these are the results. The Novavench score is 431 and the CPU score is 190. The average Novavench score for this particular CPU that is Intel Atom X5 78500 is 179 and the average clock speed is 2.1 GHz. Here it's showing as 2.23 GHz that is good and the remaining scores for this mini PC is quite normal so the score looks fine. The good thing about this mini PC is that it comes with a pre-installed Windows OS and it is activated so you just need to set up your Windows account and then you'll be good to go. And now I'll show you how to set up a simple network storage for your home usage. This network storage will be password protected so first thing you need to do is create a local user account so go to start and type users and go to add edit or remove other users and click on add someone else to this pc and click on i don't have this person's sign in information 
and click add a user without a Microsoft account. Here you can type the username and password, enter your secret questions and answers and click next. Now the local user account has been created. Once that is done, you can go to your my computers and go to the drive where you want to share the folder. And here you can create a new folder or you can share any existing folder. So I'll create a new one, name it as NAS and right click on this folder and go to properties and here go to sharing and go to advanced sharing and click share this folder and go to permissions and remove everyone and add here you can type the username that users created and click on check names and click ok and you can allow full control because you want to share this for a network storage and click on apply and ok and here you can set the number of simultaneous users for this particular folder now the sharing has been completed and you can go to the network and sharing center here click network sharing center and here you make sure that the file and printer sharing is turned on for your current profile either public or private and go to all networks and you can also turn on the password protected sharing because you want to make sure that the shared folder is a password protected and you can save changes if you have made some changes here and that's it so that was the sharing of your folder and once the folder has been shared you can add this location as a network drive in your other computers or laptops and one more step is required if you want to use this NAS as a network storage for Xiaomi cameras since Xiaomi cameras doesn't support newer versions of SMB you need to turn on the legacy SMB that is the SMB version 1 so go to your start and type features and click on turn on windows features on or off here you can see the list of features that you can turn on or off here you enable the SMB 1.0 file sharing support so that is the legacy file sharing support and it is required for Xiaomi cameras network storage and click on OK once this has been applied you need to restart your computer and now it's asking you to restart your computer so I'll restart it now now the NAS setup has been completed using this mini PC and the attached hard drive now I'll show you how to use the NAS for different devices like the security camera or your mobile device or your laptop first I'll show you how to set up the network attached storage using the Mi Home app for the Xiaomi camera for that I'll go to Mi Home app I've opened the Mi Home app and I will access this camera so this is the current view of the camera go to your options here and go to manage storage in your manage storage go to network storage here and you can see the list of available storage you should you remember your mini PC name and you just enter the username and password you created on the mini PC and done sometimes it says that it cannot refresh the network storage location you can just tap here to try again then it will show you the locations and you have to select NAS the other drives are not accessible for this user so you have access only to NAS and once that is done the setup has been completed as you can see it is currently preparing for transmission and you can set the video length to one month or one week or even 12 months you can also set the uploads it as live or every one hour or every day in my case i'll set live that is good and that's it so once that is done then you'll be able to see your footage from this camera directly in your nas and now i'll also show you how to map the network drive or the nas to your mobile phone so for that you go to your my files the my files will be different for every android phone you have or the ios phone you have that but they usually have a network attached storage option then go to network storage and you can add a network storage in our case is network drive there is a nas server and it's currently looking for available network that storage now it has found the network storage that is your computer here so it shows the ip address it'll be useful for attaching your network drive to your computer so note that you can find it in the mini pc also and you can enter the username and password as before and that is a password and you can click on add once you click on add you can see the nas here and here you already see the videos from your camera you can also play them directly from your NAS. So the NAS setup on your mobile phone and your security camera has been done. Now I'll show you how to map the drive on your laptop. So I have my laptop here. In your laptop, go to my computer and right click on this PC and select map network drive. Here you have to type in your mini PC IP address that you just noted. So follow this example here, double backslash IP address and then your folder name of your NAS and you can select reconnect at sign in and you can click finish. And here you need to type in your username and password that you have created in your mini PC and you can click on remember my credentials and click on OK so once that is done it will open the, the NAS location the Xiaomi camera videos are already available here and you can also play it from your computer this is the recordings from your CCTV to your NAS and you can play it from any of the computers in your network so that is great and you can also use this NAS location to back up your files from your laptop which has a limited storage so this is very useful 
so that was the performance test of this mini pc and the nas setup using this mini pc i like this mini pc a lot and it is very small and it can be attached behind your monitor or your tv and in the future i'll try to install a nas os in this mini pc using the micro sd card and i'll set up a raid nas system using these uh, four terabyte hard drives that i have and the performance of the mini pc is quite as expected and the simple windows nas works very well it can be connected to your security cameras or your other computers as well as your mobile phones this is a very cheap mini pc and it comes with a activated windows 10 os and another good thing is that the power consumption of this mini pc is less than 18 watts and it is very good if you want to run it 24 by 7 for running your nas systems or security camera monitoring systems and so on so those are the things that i wanted to share with you please like and share if you find the video useful and kindly support my patreon campaign thank you for watching please consider subscribing i'll see you next time